everybody. Welcome to Meddling World. This is day two, part two of our three night cruise right here on the MSC Meraviglia. So come on in, check it out. So guys, we're getting ready to get back on the Meraviglia. Um, we just spent a wonderful afternoon here on Ocean K. So if you haven't seen our vlog uh, previously, Okay, so we're coming back on. You just got to show your card to get back on the ship. And yeah, real time, you can see security want to make sure that you are all together with your proper party to get back on the ship. Um, tonight, guys, we're coming back out to the island because we have a lighthouse laser show and beach party to go to. Can't wait. But we're heading back on. We're going to relax a little bit. We got some dinner coming up and some more exploring on the ship. Let's go check it out. We had an awesome afternoon, right? Yeah. The water slides and all that, we did all that this afternoon. Yeah. I didn't want to repeat, but I wanted to show you these lights. Roberta, can you open the door? These lights are so cool. So, when it's, just close the door, it turns red, but watch. They have these cool little things here. So, if you do not want to be disturbed, you hit that. Now watch, come out here. And you'll see it's blue. Yeah, and you come, there, yeah. yeah, now when you want maid service, turns white. It's awesome. And then it's green because I guess the door's open. And then locked with some red. Oh no, green, so he comes in. Right, yeah, got it. I'm slow sometimes. But anyway, really nice, a lot of fun. And we're getting ready to go to dinner. Yes. Because we always, no matter what, we always vlog our dinners because that's really important on a cruise ship, right, yes. Jake? Yep. Jake's been having a ball, right Jake? The the kids area, which I showed you I think on the part one vlog, yeah. has been awesome for Jake. He loves it. He lives his best life on cruises. We've been having a great time, but I think we have a few minutes before dinner. We just want to go explore a little bit more of the ship. I mean, on a three night ship, a ship this big, you want to see it all. Yes. Let's go see what else we can find. We found the casino. Deck seven. Just kind of give you a little look in a casino, guys. Yeah, you're on the adventure with Meddling World. There's no security or anything. But I would imagine you have to be 18 for the casino. So kind of, I love the bar right in the middle. If you guys, uh, oh my gosh, the floor. Look at the floor. <laughs> the floor is cool, man. Um. Before I moved to Florida, I worked in casinos for 22 years. I was in hotel management, casino hotel management. So, very familiar with casinos. Roberta was a blackjack dealer. So they do have table games. They got this cool bar right in the middle that is really awesome. Love how it goes all the way around. It's not the biggest of casinos, honestly. It's pretty small and they definitely have slots, but not very big look and you're already out of it and over there's a lounge carousel lounge so yeah not the biggest of casinos but you get the ideas enough to go there's some spots and some tables but yeah very small very small so it's pretty cool on this cruise ship because now that we already know our table number we just walk in and they're just like yep just go to your table they don't scan your card or anything and there's no way they can remember everybody. Maybe they do, but... Hi, guys. So here we are again. Oh, I love the nice views tonight. Looking out at Ocean K. And guys, don't forget, Lighthouse Show coming up tonight on Meddling World. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but let's get some food. Here we are, back at our table, 911 in Newton. Our awesome server we had last night. Are you guys ready to eat tonight? Yes. Roberta, Jake? Jake, yeah. what are you thinking about tonight? Not, not sure yet? Or? Pizza. Maybe some pizza. Pizza? Uh, let's see what we have. Uh, Jake, what's going on with this? The shrimp cocktail. This is what Jake wanted tonight. He wanted dual shrimp cocktail with no sauce. So, as you can see, he loves shrimp. And Roberta over here is allergic to shrimp, so Jake and I we definitely take advantage of eating seafood a lot when we go out, especially on cruises. Bon appetit, Jake. Guys, I got the French onion soup. Can't wait to try it, but let's check in on Jake quick. Jake, he's down now, one left there, 
and he's Seven. getting ready to work. Left. He approves. So the um, French onion soup was good. Another good appetizer, but for Roberta over here, Jake's has his. I finished mine, and she hers hasn't even come yet. So part of maybe a little bit of service issue, but these guys are running around in here. So a little bit unorganized with the appetizers, but let's see what happens. Here's Roberta's appetizer. Guacamole and uh, uh, like three chips. Roberta, what are you thinking? Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, Newton, he just forgot to bring it over. It was sitting over there, but hey, things happen. We won't hold it against him. I don't know, Roberta, uh, she, she was getting hangry though. So well, let's let her eat it and see. So, Roberta, what happened now? Now you, you got another one. The first one was good, the guacamole, the chips were stale. Let me try now this one. Looks like they're a little crunchy. Yeah. So is, is it good? Yeah? Nice. So Roberta's happy now, everybody. So we, we can be at peace now, right, Roberta? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Meddling world, you just never know. Here we go, guys. We got the entree, the fisherman's plate, they're calling it. There's some calamari, there's some snapper, some dirty rice, looks like some green beans, and a little bit of salsa. And Roberta, did you get the New York strip? Yeah, New York strip. New York strip with the potato and the veggies. And Jake is still, no, he's, he's in heaven over here. Look, look at his life here. He's got two shrimp cocktails, he's got his little games going, and he's just smiling. All is good. Let's dig in. Dinner just wasn't as good as last night for me. Um, I traded a plate, but I, I left a lot of it. Um, you saw what I had. I'd say the fish was okay. Calamari definitely not good at all. Did not like the calamari. Uh, the green beans I did not like even. Um, so I'm going to say tonight that's probably the worst meal I've had so far. But it's okay. It happens. So don't get the fisherman's plate. If you're coming on, I do not recommend that one. So thumbs down for that meal. Roberta, what would you think of your meal? So uh, the steak was dry, overcooked. Yeah. The potato was not fresh. The vegetables they were hard. So I agree. I don't think it was the best meal. I think, to be honest, I think that of all the food that we had today was not. I agree with that, Roberta, as I just said. So there you have it. But we do have dessert coming. So let's see how dessert goes. But Roberta and I both agree. Jake's fine. He had the shrimp cocktail. He's happy. He likes it. And the shrimp cocktail is good because I had it last night. But uh, yeah, both our entrees weren't the best, for sure. So let's see, maybe dessert will make up for it. Well, we got a couple desserts that uh, have arrived. I got the sugar-free rice pudding tonight. Let's try that. Jake got some, well, we are on a cruise after all, Jake, in the Bahamas, rum cake with a little bit of ice cream. How do you like it, Jake? All right. And yes, I did ask the waiter, it, it burns off when they cook. Might have a little taste of it, but it, it, there's no alcohol in there. And Roberta's waiting for hers. What did you get, Roberta, though? I'm trying this. I got a key lime pie. Key lime. Roberta, how is Jake's? There is a strong appetite. It's good. Roberta loves it. It's good, girl. All right, let's dig in on our desserts, and we'll let you know how we like them. <laughs> There's Roberta's key lime pie. We're not sure what those are. Look like maybe like cherries or something. Okay. Roberta, why don't you go ahead and let us know what you think of it, actually. Good. Good? Dark. But like, it's a very good sweet and sour. Good. Wow. Yeah, key lime. All right. Yeah. Sounds right. And actually, Jake is double dipping here because he's got grandma's chocolate cake as well. But I'm interested, Jake, how is the rum cake? I don't want to waste it. Right. <laughs> At one point, I felt really strong after this. So, Jake does prefer this. So, he's definitely enjoying this much more than the rum cake. Let me try mine while we're here. Why not? Let's do, a, do one of these tricks, guys. That I can go with my hand like that. Here I am. Let's try the sugar-free rice pudding. Mm. 
good. Very good. And I have, is this key lime pie? Yeah. Roberta gave me a bite of her key lime pie. Rice pudding's great. I am enjoying this dessert. Definitely all of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Key lime pie right on. All the desserts are really good tonight. Um, so no complaints at all on the desserts. That made up for the entrees in my, in, yeah. in my, Roberta agrees with that. Yeah, Roberta? Yeah, desserts are actually a lot better than the absolute. Yeah. Right on. So awesome. Hey guys, guess what we have coming up after dinner? It's gonna be some fun outside back on the island over here for the lighthouse show. Can't wait to show you that in beach party with DJ. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, finished our dinner but um, in the dining room like if you want certain like coffees and things like that they charge you extra <laughs> on MSC so we decided just to come up to the buffet so that I so we can just get some coffee up here because all the food in here again the buffet here but uh, yeah we can come up here and um, get some coffees because before we go outside but guys this is the mozzarella station they make mozzarella every day here and today they actually ran out of the fresh mozzarella so this is where they make it pretty neat but it's coffee time and then it's show time outside got our coffees time to go chill relax a little and then show time we got some rain here. Can you see that rain? I hope you can with the GoPro here. But let me walk over here. And we're getting ready to go out to the show, but I don't know what's gonna happen now. This is like the biggest thing I was waiting for was that lighthouse show, but it's raining, man. And it's raining really good. Well, let's see what happens. Hopefully we'll be able to show it to you guys. I really wanna go to it. Let's see. Check out what we have tonight. We're just stopping at the state room quick. I know I just showed you that rain outside, but we have a nice little dog here tonight. Um, here's Jake and Roberta. We're getting ready. To, we're going to go outside anyway. You guys saw that rain coming down. Let's hope it's just a passing shower. Uh, all I can see here is where we're at. I don't have a radar, so and I'm off the grid, guys, so I'm not positive about what's going on with the weather, but hopefully we get a lighthouse laser show and beach party right here on meddling world with that being said take a moment hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs like what do you think jake thumbs like roberta and jake approve yeah we gotta go down to deck four to head outside and you can see jake and roberta threw on their coats i have one kind of tied around my waist just in case let's just cross our fingers and hope for the best let's hope we're able to enjoy a nice light show well it's still pretty wet out here but i'm not feeling a ton of rain but boy is this gorgeous at night so we're gonna make our way i over to the beach party here let's go on and see what it's all about but doesn't it look it actually looks beautiful with the rain because everything's reflecting i love it it's like art it's like artwork right here i just wanted to show you the m SC Maravilla here at night all lit up. Look how beautiful that is, huh? Nice. Look at this bar action ready to go here too. This is nice. And you can use your drink package here. This is so cool. We're literally on the beach and they have like tables and chairs all set up. Really, really nice. Let's go find a spot to chill. And it's almost showtime. They have these fires all along the beach, different ones all the way down. And people just kind of just kind of chilling the thing is what's happened is it just rained so everything's wet all the chairs and stuff are wet but let's see what we can find look at roberta she's hanging out in the we got these beanbag chairs guys it was a little wet i kind of tried to flip them around for some dry you can see they're kind of dry on this side but so we're just literally on the beach some of the flames water's right here and there's the ship
So guys, just kind of showing you the lighthouse here. Me and Jake were actually right by the water. You can hear those waves. I'm not sure how I felt about that. Uh, I expected more. I'm going to be honest. I expected more. But, I mean, it is what it is. It Was it cool? Yeah, it was cool. I just kind of expected some more because, like, right now with these kind of cool... Um, kind of these spotlights coming out of it, man. Maybe if they put different colors on that or something, but I don't know. I'm not an engineer. I'm not the person in charge of the the show. It, was, it definitely was neat, but yes, definitely, I, I kind of expected a little more, but it was fun. You know, you're at the beach, the waves, the energy was cool. So, yeah, just, to me, just all right. But let's find out about this dance party, supposedly, now. Now, this is cool, guys. This is cool. Yeah. All right. Oh. So guys, this is kind of neat now. I kind of like this. The lighthouse is kind of going to the music. That is pretty cool. I like that. That's fun. This dance party is really fun. A lot of energy. People just loving it. And then the lighthouse in the back. So as we get a little closer to the ship, you guys can kind of see all the balconies here. There's some nice ones here, like kind of in the corner that are big. And there's several people out because you can watch the way that they position the ship here with the lighthouse. You can watch that show and hear the music and everything right from your balcony. That's really neat. Another cool thing, right, Jake, is they have these foot washers. Um that are very convenient before you get back on the ship you can just wash your shoes like we are right here love sandals. that sandals and, oh, yeah. and toilet paper for and yeah jake shoes. said there's somebody put toilet paper there uh, i'm not sure all for about shoes. that and, they, yeah, and we're so, some people are using because they have sneakers and things like that so they are using to dry it off their feet oh i see okay well, well we came with sandals because it's a, it's actually a yeah a and guys that yeah. show I was a little critical at first because just the lighthouse show I, I thought it would be a little bit more than what it was but all together being on it the was beach neat. yeah it was fun yeah, it was I, I do recommend coming off the ship to, yeah. to see this if you like the beach and you it like cool. yeah. music because after the show they get right into that DJ party I, I do think that they could add a lot more into the show yeah, yeah they could they yeah, definitely but could it was but, cool. but it's neat it's cool yeah. it's cool it's definitely cool and look here we are, right, getting back on the ship. Yeah, it's about 10, but you know, Meddling World, we still we still got more time to find something else to do. So we're just gonna head back to the room for a minute to uh, put our sneakers and stuff back on. I wanted to tell you guys, make sure you have your, they call them cruise cards here on MSC. Obviously you need it to get off the ship, but if you're coming back, if one person's coming back and somebody else has all the cruise cards make sure you take your cruise card because you can't get back on the ship yeah, you too? yeah. Ooh, so, what's up guys subscribe <laughs> like, subscribe subscribe yeah that's right subscribe yeah, 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 we, yeah, got, yeah, we love yeah. it guys oh, yeah. we we love the support here on meddling world that was nice that was cool so as i was saying guys we thank our friends there uh, and what they said, subscribe. Do you hear that? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me put the lights on here. You're in real time on Middling World right now. So what I was saying is, oh, also in the room, you needed to turn on your lights. But if you're out there on the beach and you're coming back, make sure, oh, I'm going back and everybody else is saying, get that card because you'll get all the way to the ship and you'll have to go back and, and get it. So that's basically all I wanted to say. But I'm so glad I was talking because our friends, neighbors next door, they want you to subscribe. Guys, we're just hanging out here. I am hope I'm saying it right. Jean Felipe. Yeah. Roberta. Look what Roberta got. She got a hot white chocolate. This is not included in your cruise fare. Or I, I don't even think it's... We, we're doing a la carte anyway with drinks. But I don't even think it's included in a drink package. Um, I got to ask her how much it was. Let me smell it. It smells nice. It smells real nice. So we figured we'd try it, but check this out. We're kind of, I know there's some reflection there, but you see the lighthouse still over there? And they're still partying on the beach. So one thing I wanted to kind of tell you is 
some of the information you get on the cruise, like the Daily Planner thing, it said that, it did say there was two shows. Sorry, my battery went dead, guys. I had to switch it out. But I, what I was saying is, you can still see the DJ. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the lights and stuff. Originally, it said that the beach party was from 9, 10 to 10 p.m., right after the first show. And then that was it. It would stop. But it's still going. So some of the information you get with schedules doesn't really match up on this ship all the time. I have noticed that. So keep it in mind when you're doing certain things so let's see jake and roberta are over there they're gonna try this white hot chocolate i see roberta immediately with reaction well it is hot chocolate after all but it's like really hot. really hot jake's gonna let it cool but let's see what do you all right. think so it is it's made with actually it's melted chocolate it's not like that fake powdery thing all right so tastes good Okay. I was expecting a little bit more sweet, but I'm like, I like sweet stuff, but it's good. Awesome. I like it. We'll let Jake have a sip once it cools off. Yeah, once it cools off. So guys, you know what you're meddling world, we don't stop, and we just heard a bunch of music out here. Uh, this is deck six, let's see what's going on. like the MSC store this is up on deck six of course they have the models of the ships I know lots of people collect these uh, for their cruising Jake's over here he's got something going on. he's looking at watches MSC watches they got everything in here but it's really neat they even have Legos very nice all kind of their branded things these towels actually very cool we're looking for postcards lots of legos actually lots of legos um it's a cool little store so if you want some msc specific merch this is where you want to go they even have the vests like robes i like this it's like a almost like a little cooler like a lunch cooler Pretty neat. Here's for your travel. Yeah, you got everything in here. These are just little gadgets. These aren't all MSC. I don't think this is specific, specifically MSC. And then they have some bags. Lanyards. You can put your uh, cruise card in there. Here's an MSC lanyard, actually. And then just some hats. Here, guys. Backpacks. And some sandals. <laughs> So, a little something for everybody in there. You know, little gifts, knickknacks. Um, so, yeah, cool. And people getting their photos. It's a lot of action on this ship. And just, I just think it's just such a fancy, beautiful ship. I really do. So, we just got out of the shop and we got some postcards to send out to you guys who are Patreons. Thank you very much for being a Patreon at Meddling World. We're going to send out those postcards as soon as we get back within a couple days. So take a look in the mail. And once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support for our channel becoming a Meddling World Patreon. Yes, I'm on a cruise ship eating, but I just want to point out we came just to get a little snack before we're done for the night. It's what, around 11 ish? A little bit after 11. The buffet does stay open to 1, but I just want to show you something, guys. So if you come in here late at night, there's not much option. So basically, all you get, I'm going to come show you now, and it gets really busy in here because the one thing about MSC is I'm realizing it's not a lot of options for, for the dining that's included. So you just have some sandwiches and pizzas. But as you can see, as you're coming by, the pizzas are gone. Like... Everybody's waiting in line, so it's not the greatest of like service or options right now. And then on this side, some salads and desserts with a little bit of fruit. But that's it. That's it. Uh, you know, and there's no other place on a ship to get food right now that is included in your price. And then just one drink station over here that's open. And like I said, I'm just kind of showing you 
as we go through our adventures. So I'm gonna think, I can't just, you know, if I just show you everything's great all the time, it's not real, right? It's not reality, because not everything is perfect. It's nice that you do have this option, but it's very busy in here. And um, one thing I would probably say so far that I'm not liking, every time I seem to come into this buffet, it just seems to be busy. Uh, to the point where it takes just a while to get food, but get seats, it's, we've always gotten seats and tables quick. Usually it's the other way around. You can walk up, get your food, and never find a place to sit, but uh, so far on this ship, it's been the opposite. Just a little update from the buffet. I think we'll end the vlog there, because it is after 11. So we're gonna see you in the morning. Tomorrow will be day three. Guys, thank you so much for watching Meddling World. Please take a moment, subscribe if you haven't yet. And last but not least, see ya!